Hello everyone, I just waved at you. Um, this is part 14 of our Hogwarts Let's Play. Or, no, let's play. What is this? Uh, playthrough. There we go. Um, we're gonna get the, we're gonna do the mission room of requirement today. I have a broom. We got that in the last part, so if you miss that, go back and see. Um, Revelio. I'm just... Are you kidding? <laughs> this is the coolest. So you can just. Whoa. Um. We're doing another uh, mission today. I'll 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 just skip to it. I can't talk. Never mind. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Ah, the room of the door. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Bro, Professor. Bro, what? That character's a dog. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so confident I'm gonna do a 360 real quick. I learned that shit looking at Split. Splendid. Now, cast. Go on those chairs. Okay. Excellent work. <laughs> You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Oh. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Can I banish you? Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Revelio. Is that goodness? Hey, I waited for My you here old for school ages. Back. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Shut up. Revelio. Mm. Ah. Accio. See? Huh. 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 Huh.
<laughs> Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! <laughs> Is it how I can mess you up? not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> Rebellion. Make sure we're not forgetting any secrets or anything. The offended the room side. The bath. Cheeky thing. Grindstone. Thank you. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Oh, I should probably put it oh, stuff already, that's nice. Bro. Forgot I had that ability. Rebellion. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> okay. Revelio. Rebellion. Self can find us in here. Hey, oh, there he is. Oh, we're in a cutscene. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke, is Deke a gross has been a household. friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. Oh. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. 
Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. Thanks. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. I have that. That's it. Items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. All right, here we go. Three sixty. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Bro, that's Can sick. I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potions station and potting table. You okay. should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. I do like that. Okay, where do I conjure these? Conjuring spell. <laughs> Small scientific, botanical. We're going to go. I don't even know.
Oh, we can choose now. That one's cool. Got it. We'll do the... We'll do this guy. Those right next you can to each use other, these whenever you need to can... brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Uh, yeah. First things first, we gotta find something. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Bro, I literally have like 80. I have the moonstone you requested, okay. Professor. <laughs> Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Ah, what? I mean, I do like the wall decorations. I'm just gonna take these down right away. Floor decorations. Move on? Sure. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can cool. change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? 
Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Here we go. Do a 360 right in the middle of it. Do another one. Do a third one. Just aim your wand at any conjure. And perform the altering spell to customize it. Roll. Change the color. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Ooh. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try I... these new designs on the floor or balcony. Hey! Your this... space might benefit from a bit of ambiance. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'd enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Bro, that is so cool. I just want to film it all. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my god. That's cool. It all must be uniform. I do not care. I do not care if it is practical, it almost be That is cool. Okay, good. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course! Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'm cool, mid moonlit. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Yeah. Hmm, sounds perfect. It's not gonna change. Hey, that's nice. I <laughs> forgot I have all the drugs in the Fuck. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me.
That is so cool. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, let's clean this up. Ew. Gross. Get rid of all of those. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go and um change up the other room down the hall so I'll see you guys in a bit. This is what I turned the room into. Uh, I switched up the bottom here so not all of it is uniform. Repairer! Oh, my bad. Okay, I can just flip it But yeah, I switched it up. Um, I chose the elegant theme, I guess. Because there's, um... Ah, shit, no, I can't. Ooh. Cool. Um. Eh. 